deal in August, so... Yeah. Alright, we're going to experiment with FSD since this is the last day of the trial for me and I'm not prepared to pay $99. Um, it's amazing technology. I mean, I get it. It's cool. It's not ready for prime time as far as I'm concerned. And let me see if I can find a back road route if it gives me an option. It is not. So, we're going to go ahead and see how much of this that I can do without um, disengaging. And we'll make this little video. I'll probably and, uh, speed it up. Of it out here so, Austin, you know, this is a 20 minute Austin, trip, 15 Austin, miles, and I'll Somebody probably triple speed it or something to keep the video under 10 minutes. And I may stop at the end and do a little synopsis of the trip, but it ain't really necessary. Y'all gonna see what, what, what it's about. And, um,. And so you get a chance to see what it's like in, you know, this town or that town. Um, different, you know, highways are different. We drive a lot of rural areas, so I got lots of rural. We, uh, we did, like, the whole backcountry tour coming out here through across Texas. And so I feel like it was it was a good experience for, like, trying to compress a whole lot of FSD. Uh, yeah. And i got to say, I'm just, like, really do, 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 do. I was not Okay, so... Things, it's, it's a really, like... This is not a small change. Yeah. Oh, the plan. crap. Yeah. Sorry, folks. With Let's see here. V11, we had gotten to a point where mirrors. perception stack was good enough that we just weren't seeing perception. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's go back. Just, let's but try people, this Almost again. all the complaints people had had to do with planning, not getting the right thing, not getting really far enough over, um, not knowing when it was its turn. Please keep your hands on the wheel. I don't know if it's going to really make me keep my hands on the wheel. Um, you know, so... I got a little um, FSD podcast playing in the background because I didn't want to get hit with the, um, you know, by playing any music and you know, copyright infringement. I don't know what I'm going to do with this video, if I'm going to post it or not, so um, notice the wheel's turning itself. It just turned the signal. It wants to make the left turn here. Um, oh, hold on, there's somebody on the scooter. Come on through with the scooter. It's not going, yeah, there you go. Go on. It's going to ease up. It's not going to pull out. There's traffic coming from the left and the right. This is not the easiest left turn to take, so I'm really interested in seeing how it handles this left turn. More coming from the left, more coming from the left. Um, it's starting. Oh, no, I would not have done that, but it did it, and it made it. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, you know, some people have been talking, there's a, there's a lot of debate on some of the um, social media sites, Reddit, Facebook, or whatever, um, about some people swear up and down, oh, it's great, I use it all the time, I never have to disengage, you all just you disengage too soon, you're too negative, and that could be true. I mean, I personally would not have pulled out like that on that car, obviously, we could have made it, we did make it, um, and... But there are times when FSD does some stuff that's just not the move. Jumping in front of cars um, with not enough to spare, um, doesn't really pay enough respect to semi-trucks and other types of large vehicles that a naturally a human would normally do. Um, sometimes it jumps over, it changes lanes, like moves over to the left lane, knowing there's a right turn coming up very soon something that you just normally would not do and there's little little nuances like that to the driving that eh, you know it drives like an inexperienced driver i think that's the best way to phrase it um now uh, other notes there's times when fsd does some stuff that i just f truly find remarkable i've seen it um avoid some things in the road See this hard stop. It seems like it, it's, it's green. Why did we stop? We didn't need to stop. Um, now here, and now here's a car making a U-turn in front of us. How does it deal with that? Okay, it slowed down a little bit. It hesitated. Then it picked it back up. The car behind me is irritated because I stopped at that green light to make that right turn. And you know, he couldn't see what was coming from the left. Um, probably to the level that I could, for that matter. And you know, and I get why it stopped. 
but that's just not ideal for you know driving amongst other cars in traffic and then part of the debate i think and this is a complicated intersection it doesn't look like it but this could be a complicated intersection at times you're never really sure okay is it gonna go 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 okay um you're never really sure um you know what people are doing when you're in densely populated areas i live in a densely populated here area here in the young um, washington dc looking to see that's something new they're building i didn't notice that before i don't know what smart kids i'll look it up later but um it's a densely populated area it's a lot of traffic there's some weird intersections and corners and roundabouts and things along those lines circles or whatever and um eh, i don't feel that comfortable with fsc driving me around i'm doing this for the sake of the video and i can quite honestly um, we're about to get on I-95, and more likely than not, I'm probably going to take over very soon. This is U.S. Route 1. It runs up and down the East Coast from Miami to, well, probably further south to Miami. And here it is pulling out in front of a truck, and too slow to, for my liking, and probably too slow for that truck's liking. There's a lot of cross traffic coming up at these intersections in front of us on Route 1. Um, again, I'm not that comfortable with it. There's a Tesla. I got a feeling his hands weren't on the wheel. He's using his full self-driving. Um, yeah. And, and I like to drive my car. Let's keep it real. I, I like to drive my car. You always see these cars like this one. You never know when someone's going to pull out on you. If people are pulling out in front of FSD the way FSD pulls out in front of other people, that could be a problem. Um, I'm not sure which lane it's going to choose right here. I know for me, oftentimes I will have moved over to that right lane. It doesn't appear that FSD intends on doing that. There is somebody coming up behind us on the right um, because they did what I usually do. The truck that was right behind me, they're moving over to the right because they're doing what I usually do. Um, and again, we're about to go up here and get on the highway. I would like to, at minimum, allow the car to take the exit to get on the highway and merge into the flow of traffic on the highway before I stop this or, or disengage, I should say. Um, but eh, no, I don't know. And it's a comfort level. I, I can admit that. Okay, now he just signaled. Now he's moving over. Okay. But, um, you know, it's stopping on its own. My, my feet are not on any of the pedals. I haven't touched the brake or the gas um, since I've started recording. Um, I haven't touched the steering wheel at all since I started recording. We're about almost eight minutes in. Um, we could be, this could be a 10 minute video if I don't speed it up and I just let it merge onto the highway, which is what I'm seriously considering doing. And let me turn that down because I'm not even listening to the people. Pause it. Um, but all in all, FSD is amazing. I know Tesla's driving to the cyber cab thing. I don't really care for to, to have to have FSD. It's not something that I purchased the car for. It wasn't where I was going with it. I'm much more interested in the um, electric powered vehicle, not having to buy gas. Um, I, I don't have any range issues. I do get well over 300 miles of range on the equivalent of a uh, full charge uh, with this car. Um, I primarily drive in the city, so sometimes I even get in the high 300s um, in terms of the type of range I get from the vehicle because, you know, 370 to 380 approaching when I'm doing just, you know, a lot of city driving. Um, highway driving, of course, it does depreciate. It can get down to around 240, 250 miles on what would be the equivalent of a full charge. You never really full charge. You're always charging like between 30 and 70 percent or 30 and 80 percent something along those lines and um or maybe even 15 and 95 at the widest range but typically you're hanging out between 30 and 70 so you see that camaro just took off i could have zipped past him if i wanted to with this um i want to see if i can let this car i'm this truck it seems like he wants to get over tesla's immune to that tesla is now going to take this ramp I get a little more comfortable if I look at the little light thing right here on the screen because it's showing me where it plans on going um, and that kind of eases my nerves about we're not about to run off into the trees or run off into a pole or something. I watched the little light. Um, it was taking these ramps really aggressive on the previous version of FSD which was driving me crazy. Nothing's behind this. It's safe. I'm just going to get over. Okay, that's good. 
I'm just gonna get on the highway and then we're probably gonna stop this video at that point. Um, I, I'm gonna give it a chance to merge into this traffic. I really don't like merging, giving up merging to anybody, let alone to, you know, a, a computer. But, um, and for the record, I am driving um, a 2022 Model 3 Long Range um, with hardware version three, hardware three, because people will ask that question. It's gonna get over into the second lane. Uh, you don't have to do that, cars come, trucks come up pretty quick. Okay, it recognized the truck was coming up quick. It stopped the merge and see if it goes back and tries to do it again. It may not. Um, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, I'm okay with sitting right here. You do have to have people coming on and off ramp to merge with you when you sit in the right lane. I'm cool with that. I'm looking at the light there. The light seems to be, you know, the little light seems to be tracking properly. Um, this is highway riding, and I can really see where on the highway people probably eat up hundreds of miles with FSD with no problem. This isn't like when I was back in the neighborhood or when I was out there on US-1 and I had all the cross traffic and the merging going on. This is what this is really good at. And you actually get a version of this with the autopilot and auto steering, which comes with the car without having to pay the extra. So this is why I'm saying, I don't think I really need the FSD yet. Um, I'm gonna, you know, wait for the next free, free trial period. The next time I figured there'll be a couple of versions ahead by the time the next trial period comes up. And if it greatly improves between now and the next trial period, then I'll reconsider it. I don't necessarily think I need it. If they were to lower the price, because it's a monthly subscription, $99 a month, we're not even going to talk about the flat rate because ain't nobody doing that. But that monthly subscription of $99 a month is, um, just wanted to change lanes so bad. Now you're here. Do not change lanes again. Stay here. I don't really want to be over there if you're driving. But um, all of that being said, I'm not paying $99 a month. If it were $49.99 a month, I could consider it. Um, or less, I would, you know, consider it. Just because it's kind of cool for tricks and everything. But aside from that, I'm good. So, rock and rolls. Oh, by the way, I don't have a bike right now. So, I'm not going to be making my bike videos coming up. If you were here for the bike videos, you might want to push, put a pause on it for a while. Don't, don't drop me. I will be getting another bike in the next couple of year, year or two and I'll get back to making some really cool bike videos. At most, I'll probably be making some Tesla videos here or there, some travel videos here and there, and that's really where I'm going with the channel. I do want to keep the channel up and running, but, you know, I'm chilling. I'm doing good, nothing's wrong, and for the time being, it's gonna be primarily, oh, the Tesla's name is Rocket, just like the motorcycles. So, Rocket Rolls, over and out. Do, 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 do,